Welcome back, Grade 10 Math. Today's lesson is on Section 5.3, Common Factoring. Okay. In this section, we're going to learn how to go from standard form to factored form. So we're going to go from standard form to factored form. In Sections 5.1, 5.2, we learned how to do the opposite. We learned how to go from factored to standard. Going from factored to standard, we used the FOIL method. Um, we did a lot of multiplication to expand and get rid of the brackets. Okay, Factoring is the opposite. We're going to put this equation back into brackets. Okay, So FOIL was a lot of distribution and multiplication. Factoring is going to be a lot of division. Okay, Before we can get started, let's just review what a factor actually is. Okay, A common factor is a number that is a factor of all numbers in a set. Okay. And what I mean by a factor, it's a number that divides evenly into all numbers in a set. So if I give you a set of numbers 4, 6, and 8, okay, 2 is a factor of all of those numbers. 2 goes into 4 twice, into 6 three times, into 8 four times. Okay? It divides evenly into all three of those numbers. Okay? A greatest common factor is the greatest number and or variable that is a factor of two or more numbers or terms. Okay, So the greatest common factor is the greatest term that divides evenly into all, all the numbers. Okay, One also divides into 4, 6, and 8. Okay, Two divides into 4, 6, and 8. So 2 would be the greatest common factor because it's greater than 1. Okay, And a common factor doesn't necessarily have to be just a number. Okay, It can be a number and or a variable. Okay, so we have to remember that when we go through this section. Okay, section one, monomial common factoring. There's three sections to this lesson. Monomial common factoring, so common factoring one term. Um, the other section is going to be binomial common factoring, so we common factor a binomial. And section three is going to be factoring by grouping. Okay, so in order to common factor out one term of a polynomial, we first remove the greatest common factor as the first factor, and then divide each term by the greatest common factor to obtain the second factor. Okay, Let's take a look at what that looks like, and I'll explain, explain algebraically why we're allowed to do this. Okay, So if I give us um, the polynomial 6x plus 3, okay? let's look back at our rules. To factor a polynomial, we remove the greatest common factor as the first factor, and then divide each term by the greatest common factor to obtain the second factor. So step number one, let's remove the greatest common factor. We have to determine what the greatest common factor is. Okay? We know the greatest common factor can be a number and, a, and or a variable. So we have to, let's find the greatest common factor of the coefficients first. Okay? So of 6 and 3. The greatest common factor of 6 and 3 is 3. Greatest common factor of the variable part? Well, the 3 doesn't even have a variable attached. Okay, So there is no common variable between the 6x and the 3. So there's nothing we can common factor as a variable. Okay, So the greatest common factor of this whole polynomial, Okay, we're going to combine the coefficient greatest common factor and the variable greatest common factor. Okay, In this case, there is no variable greatest common factor. So the greatest co common factor of the whole polynomial is just 3. Okay. Now, so our steps are to remove the greatest common factor as the first factor. Okay. So we're going to take a 3 out of this 6x plus 3. Okay. We've taken that out. Now our next step is to then divide each term by the greatest common factor to obtain the second factor. So I'm going to divide the 6x and the 3 by the 3 that I took out to give me my second factor. So I have 6x, I have to divide that by 3, and I have to divide the 3 by 3. Okay. The result of this will give me the two factors of 6x plus 3. Okay. I know I'll be able to simplify this because I know 3 goes evenly into the 6x and into the 3. If I simplify this, 6x divided by 3 gives me 2x, and 3 divided by 3 gives me 1. Okay? There are my factors of 6x plus 3. My factors are 3 and 2x plus 1. Okay? Good. Let me try and explain why we're able to just take out a number and then divide by that same number. 
Okay, so I have 6x plus 3. Essentially what I've done is multiply this by 1 in a fancy way. Okay, the reason why when I take out the 3, the reason why I have to then divide everything by 3, okay, so I'm taking out a 3, so I'm now multiplying this whole thing by 3. In order to keep this equation equivalent, if I've multiplied it all by 3, I have to then divide it all by 3 in order to keep it equivalent. Okay? What is, essentially what I've done is I have multiplied 6x plus 3 by 3 over 3. Okay? And we know 3 over 3 is 1. Okay? So essentially all I've done is multiplied the 6x plus 3 by 1 in a fancy way. So this equation is still equivalent once I've simplified the, these terms on the inside. Okay? It's still going to be equivalent to our original equation. We've just multiplied it by 1 in a fancy way okay? to put it into its factors. Okay? I hope that maybe helped clarify it a little bit. Let's go on and do some more examples. Okay? So, if we want to factor 5x plus 20, we need to find the greatest common factor of the coefficients. So of the 5 and the 20, the greatest common factor is 5. Greatest common factor of the variable part? Well, once again, there is no variable with the second term. Okay, so we can't common factor out any variables. That means the greatest common factor of this whole polynomial is just 5. So our steps are to remove the greatest common factor from the polynomial. So I've taken that out, taken it outside of the brackets. And my next step is to then divide each term by the greatest common factor. I know I'll be able to simplify because I know 5 goes evenly into 5x and 20. So this will give me 5x divided by 5 is just x. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So there's my answer there. There, 5 and x plus 4 are the factors of 5x plus 20. Let's do one more example like this, but this time having a negative. Okay. Step number one. So I want the factors of negative 5x plus 20. Okay. I need the greatest common factor of the coefficients of the negative 5 and the 20. Okay. If I have a negative term out front, I always want to factor out that negative term. Okay. So the greatest common factor of negative 5 and 20 is going to be negative 5. Negative 5 goes evenly into negative 5 and into 20. Okay. The greatest common factor of the variable, well, once again, there is no variable attached to this 20, so I can't common factor out any variables. So my greatest common factor of the whole polynomial is negative 5. My steps are to take out the greatest common factor from the polynomial, okay. leave the polynomial inside brackets, and then divide each term by the greatest common factor. And once again, I know it'll go in evenly into both terms. So I can simplify. This gives me negative 5. Negative 5x divided by negative 5 is just x. 20 divided by negative 5 is negative 4. Okay? So those are my factors of negative 5x plus 20. OK, let's try one where there is a variable common factor. Okay? So if I, want the common, if I want the factors of 8x squared minus 7x, I need to first find the greatest common factor of the coefficients. Okay. Now, if you think about it, the greatest common factor of 8 and 7, there's nothing other than 1 that goes into both of those numbers evenly. Okay. So my greatest common factor of those coefficients is just 1. The greatest common factor of the variable parts, I have an x squared and an x. Okay. So with this first term, I have an x squared. An x squared, we remember, is x times x. Okay. And then my with this term, the 7x, so I have an x with that one. Okay? So all I can take out is 1x. Okay? So all they have in common is they both have 1x. The x squared has 2x's, the 8x squared has 2x's, sorry, and the 7x just has 1x, so all I can take out is just 1x. So my greatest common factor of the polynomial is the combination of the common factor of the coefficient and the variable. So my greatest common factor of the polynomial is 1x. Okay. So now I go ahead and take that out from 8x squared minus 7x. So I take out my 1x. 
and then I divide each of the terms in the polynomial by that greatest common factor. Good. And this will give me 8x squared divided by x. When we divide variables with exponents, remember we just, if it's the same variable, we just subtract the exponents. So 2 minus 1, that leaves me with an x to the 1. So 8x squared divided by x to the 1 just gives me 8x. Okay. Minus 7x divided by x. Those x's cancel, and I'm left with just the 7. Okay. So these are the factors of 8x squared minus 7x. Let's try another one like this. Okay. So if I have 25x to the 6 plus 15x to the 4, the greatest common factor of the coefficients, 25 and 15, is 5. 5 goes evenly into 25 and 15. Okay, and that's the greatest number that goes evenly into both of those. The greatest common factor of the variable part, okay, the variable being the x to the 6 and the x to the 4. Okay, so remember, x to the 6 is really 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's. Okay, x to the 4 is 4 x's. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so all I can do these terms both share 4x's. Okay, so I can take 4x's out from both of these terms. A quick little rule, okay, the greatest common factor of the variable part is the variable with the least exponent. Okay, so these both have an x. Okay, one's an x to the 6, one's an x to the 4. The greatest common factor is the one with the least exponent. x to the 4 has the least exponent, so I can take out an x to the 4. Okay. Now, my greatest common factor of this polynomial is the combination of the greatest common factor of the coefficients and the variable part. So my greatest common factor, factor of the polynomial is 5x to the 4. So my rules, I take the 5x to the 4 out from the polynomial, okay, and then divide each of the terms by that greatest common factor. 25x to the 6 divided by 5x to the 4. 15x to the 4 divided by 5x to the 4. Okay. Go ahead and simplify inside the brackets. I know I'll be able to simplify because by definition a greatest common factor goes evenly into both of the terms. Okay. 25 divided by 5 is 5. x to the 6 divided by x to the 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. So I have 5x squared as that simplified. And then 15x to the 4 divided by 5x to the 4 is just 3. Okay, the x to the 4 is cancel. 15 divided by 5 is 3. These are my factors of this polynomial. Okay? Good.